Good morning, guys. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, first, I'd like to ask if I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is my yes, ma is my uh, PowerPoint presentation clear on your end? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Before we start our lesson, uh, we will pray first. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we thank you for this day, for the life that you've given us. We ask for your forgiveness of our sins and our wrongdoings. We pray for your uh, guidance and provisions in every day and please give us good health and uh, strength and courage for every day that we're going to face. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now we will start our lesson. For today, we will talk about the prepositions of place, specifically at, on, and in. In this lesson, I'm going to provide you graphic uh, representations that features the rules of the use of at, on, and in. This lesson will highlight the rules of the proper use of those prepositions of place. Before we start, we have to introduce what are prepositions. Prepositions are words that show relationship between two words. They uh, also carry specific meaning and show the connection between noun and the noun sub substitute. Uh, we are familiar with uh, word orders, right? Yes, ma'am. Because prepositions are not included in those abbreviations like SV or SVO and such. Students tend to neglect the importance of prepositions. They thought that it is uh, unnecessary. However, prepositions carry specific meaning that gives uh, somehow life in the sentence. So it's really important to know and uh, to learn the rules of the proper use of those. Now I'm going to flash some sentences that will help us in learning the different use of at, on, and in. The first sentence is, Alina is waiting at the corner. The next one, the cat jumped on the table. The boy cried in the room. These are the common word order when it comes when we use prepositions. Their subject, verb, the preposition, and the object object of the preposition. Object of the preposition will always follow the preposition. You can see that all of it has the same word order. Now we will try to remove the a preposition and its object and we'll see if we will see what will happen if we put where before uh, the subject and the verb it will uh, become like this where did Alina wait according to the sentence we've had earlier where did Alina wait Ma'am, Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Uh, at the corner. Okay, very good. The next one, where did the cat jump? Ma'am, Angelo po. Okay, Angelo. On the table. Okay, very good. And the last one, where did the boy cry? Rizal, ma'am. Okay. Rizal. Mom, in the in the room po. Okay, very good, guys. Seeing that we used where because it is used to uh, ask where the place is. 
now that we are familiar with the proper use of prepositions, we will now discuss the, rules, the specific rules that uh, applies to it. There is a triangular method we use to differentiate the difference in use of at, on, and in. This is the triangular method, and as you can see, at is placed on the top, seeing that it has a narrower scope than on and in, while on is put on is in the middle because it has a much uh, wider scope than at, but not so wide than in. And in is in the bottom because in has the widest scope among the three. At talks about a general vicinity. It means that it can be used to refer to common, so we have to be careful uh, when we use at because uh, it can uh, refer to a specific, a specific name or a common name, like in the uh, word bookstore. We can we will use at but but we will put an article in the middle of it and it will become at the bookstore when we use a common noun with at we have to use an article like a an or the while when we use the prepositions of place at preposition of place at with nouns we can just use the preposition and then it is uh, followed by the noun itself, like the word Jollibee. It will become at Jollibee. The next one, on is used when we talk about surface, a specific street, an electronic medium. Uh, when we use on to talk about a surface, the subject has to have a contact with a surface. It has to touch uh, something. While when referred to a specific street, uh, the preposition will be followed by the name, like on Malaya Street. And when we use on to refer to electronic medium or electronic media, it can either use an article in the middle or not, like on the internet or on social media. Just uh. Raise some questions if you have. In is used to refer to the point itself. Or it can also refer to an enclosed space. It can also be used to talk about geographic location. To refer to printed media. If we can use on to talk about electronic media, we use in to refer to printed media. However, uh, we have to be careful in the use of in because it can be used interchangeably with the prepositions at and on. Like in sentence, she is sitting in the car. Others might ask uh, if or why the preposition in is used when in fact, obviously, the subject is touching a surface. The subject is sitting in the car. However, the answer is that we use in because the car is considered as an enclosed space. So it's reasonable that we use the preposition in because that's what we've uh, discussed earlier. Prepositions carry meaning, specific meaning. It means that the use of preposition any kind of preposition is highly contextual. The context has to be a uh, consideration when we use the uh, any kind of prepositions. Then, we also use in to refer to large or wide places like countries, provinces, and cities, like in Japan, in Bulacan, in Manila. It refers to a wide range of place, uh, not like uh, the at when it only refers to specific uh, 
or a particular place and on to specific streets in has a wider scope just like what is mentioned in the triangular method is there any question clarifications no so far ma'am okay no ma'am okay thank you we will now uh learn so far ma'am answer our activity one you will fill in the blanks of what you think is the proper preposition to be used i will give you a minute to think about it your timer starts now Are you done, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Who would like to answer the first sentence? Yes, ma'am. Who would like to answer the first sentence? Volunteer, ma'am. Okay, we shall. The lady works blank the laboratory. I think it's... At ma'am, the lady works at the laboratory po. Okay, thank you. It's uh, correct because uh, it uh, the sentence refers to a particular place. What about the next one? Who would like to answer? Ma'am. Uh, okay, Angelo. Uh, Carmina reduced her lecture while blank the car. Um, I think... The preposition must be in book. Carmina reduced her lecture while in the car. Okay, it's correct. Because we uh, the sentence used the car as its a venue. So it's proper that we use in because we use in to refer to an enclosed space. What about the next one? Ma'am Joseph. Okay, Joseph. The ball bounced the blank the court. Uh, I think here should write on. The ball bounced the, on the court. Okay, very good. Because it's correct. Because the subject or the ball bounced or has a contact to the court. So it's proper that we use the preposition on. What about the next one? Volunteer, ma'am. Okay, reset. The, the, the doctor sat blank a chair blank the hospital. I think it's the doctor sat on a chair in the hospital. Okay, very good. In, uh, it's correct because the doctor sat on a chair and we used in to refer to the hospital because it uh, given the context it can be considered as an enclosed space what about the last one angelo ma'am okay angelo um he bought a pen black the bookstore black malolos i think the prepositions are at an end he bought a pen at the bookstore in Malolos. Okay. Very good. That's also correct. Because uh, it, the first blank referred to a specific place. So it's proper that we use at. And then the next blank refers to Malolos. And Malolos is a city. And it is considered as a wide place. So it's proper that we use the preposition in. 
Okay, are there any questions or clarifications about our activity? Um, None so far, ma'am. Okay. Now we will proceed. Now we will proceed to our summary of our lesson. We discussed earlier the pre that prepositions are words that show relationship between the noun and the noun substitute. It can be also it can also be noun to a noun. Prepositions carry meaning and it is highly contextual. We also uh, discuss the difference in use of at, on, and in. At can be used to refer to specific places or particular location, whether the name is common with noun. On can be used to, when we refer to surfaces, specific street or electronic media. The subject has to, when referred to surfaces, it has to have a contact. When we refer to specific specific street, it, the name of the street will follow right after the preposition. And then when we uh, use on to refer to electronic media, it can either go with or without an article in the middle. When we use in, it can be used to refer to enclosed spaces, large areas, or printed media. It, uh, just like what we said earlier, the use of preposition varies when it comes or varies uh, with regards to the context we have. We will have another activity. It's called, It's Your Turn. You have to create your own example sentences and prepare a brief explanation about it. We will use the abbreviation turn to know how we are going to execute the activity. The first step is letter T. You have to type in your answer in the in-call messages. I'll give you a chance later to type in your uh, sentences first, and then we will proceed to the letter U, or use the time. Use the time to think of an explanation regarding your answer. I will give you three minutes to think about your explanation. And then, we, after the three minutes, we will proceed to the letter R, or recite your explanation. After you think about your explanation, you're going to recite your explanation and share it to the class. And then after it, we will uh, uh, go to the next step or the nice clap. A nice clap goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. Okay? Are the directions clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, uh, type in your uh, your sentences in the chat box first. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Okay, thank you, Angelo. Okay, very good, Priscilla. Now, I'm going to give you three minutes to think of an explanation uh, with regards to your answer. And then after three minutes, we will proceed to the letter R. Okay?
done, guys? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Who would like to go first? Who would like to recite their explanation? Ma'am Joseph. Okay, Joseph. My sentence is the man works at the bookstore okay. and is used because it is referring to a particular place, the bookstore. Okay, very good. I will give you a nice clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, who would like to go next? Mom Angelo. Okay, good Angelo, go. Um, I use the preposition on and the sentence that I made is the girl bumped on the wall. Um, on is used because it describes that the subject touch a surface. Okay, very good. I will give you a nice clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, who would like to go next? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Rizal. I I used in ma'am and my sentence is the nearest airport is in Pampanga. I used in because I am referring to a large and a broad place, ma'am. Okay, very good. I will give you a nice clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. It seems like you really understand our lesson for today. And I have a favor to ask of you guys. Will you open your microphone and join me in a nice clap? Okay, yes, ma'am. Oh. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. nice. Very good. Thank you, guys. You can, uh, thank you. And it seems that you really understand our lesson and you, you deserve that nice clap. And then, before we end our lesson, we have our last activity. You're going to fill up uh, this table with the def definition we've discussed earlier of uh, the proper use of at, on, and in. And then you're going to create uh, at least two sentences in using at, on, and in. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. You can start now.
Are you guys done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Who would like to go first? Who would like to share their answers? Ma'am, volunteer. Okay, Joseph. Uh, the definition of uh, preposition and it's used to refer to a general vicinity or a particular place known to the speaker. What are the sentences? My first sentence. Uh, my first sentence is. Uh, she bought a house at a famous civilization. Ma'am, um, ang hello. Okay, ang hello. Uh, the preposition that I use is on. Uh, this is used when a person or thing has touched or got in contact with a surface. It can also be used to refer to electronic media. Yeah, and streets. Okay. Um, the two sentences that I made are the girl sat on the bed. The second one is she likes to post pictures on so on her social media account. Okay, very good. Okay, who would, would like to share the definition and sentences of in? Ma'am, mga hespo. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Lisel. Uh, ma'am, is in is used when something is in an enclosed space. Okay. In is also used to refer to large spaces like like countries or cities. And my my sentences are first she decided to study in America, and then the teacher read news in the newspaper okay very good guys it seemed really that you understand our lesson and thank goodness we have to learn the proper use of prepositions at on in because is a prerequisite for us because it carries different meaning and if we do not know when or where to use it and we only rely on our ear for language we might be confused every time so we have to learn the rules to automatize or to make it easier for us to form sentences is that understood yes ma'am yes, ma and disclaimer this is only a part of our discussions about prepositions and specifically prepositions of place because as you all know there are several of it and we will tackle everything uh, in our succeeding discussion is that all right yes ma'am are there any questions clarifications about about our topic for today No, okay. No, and now we're done. Um, this is the end of our lesson. And I'll be meeting you next session to discuss the other types and the other uh, kinds of prepositions. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, guys.